Welcome to the project demonstration of non-invasive glucometer. So in this project, uh, in this version, we added the limits also. Means in the previous versions, we are just monitoring the glucose levels from the sensor module and that will be continuously displayed on this 16 by 2 LCD screen. And it will see the same values through the HC05 Bluetooth module to the mobile phone, uh, which has the application to monitor the glucose levels. So in this version, we are adding the limits. So here the limits are if it is the glucose levels are less than the 75 milligrams then uh, it will on the buzzer alert and a low glucose levels alert message will be displayed on the LCD screen and if it is 75 to 135 is a normal and 135 above is a high glucose levels. So here the main uh, heart of the project is uh, our sensor and our dealer unit board. So in the sensor module we are using the IR sensors, it's an IR sensor along with red LED. So here the red LED purpose is it will emit the high power uh, red LED uh, lights and that will be transmitted to the finger. So we need to close this. So when we place the finger the red LED along with the IRS will be transmitted this one and same will be reflected by the our finger outer space. So then the received signal will be analyzed by the sensor module and that will be given as input to the microcontroller. There we are getting the two values. One is from the photodiode, so which can receive the IR signals. Another is the light dependent resistor, so which will receive the reflected red uh, light emitted rays. So we are going to differentiate that and we are going to identify the finger. So initially we need to check the whether the finger was placed on the sensor module or not and the next is we are going to define the uh, light intensity. So based on the light intensity we are going to assume the glucose levels. So as we know that there is a basic formulation to calculate the glucose levels. Whenever the glucose levels is high then the blood thickness is higher than the normal glucose levels. So this project we made uh, around 50 samples collected from the real time uh, patients and we are going to pay we prepared one data set so from the based on the data set values we are going to assume the nearby glucose levels by using our Arduino Uno board so as we are receiving the analog signal from this one so our microcontroller will convert that analog signal to digital that is nothing but photodiode values as well as the LDR resistors uh, light dependent resistor values so based on that values and it will compare with the data set and there it will provide us the one value which is nearby the glucose levels. So though we made this project as a demonstration purpose as we took the less number of samples. If you want to make it as a real time one then we need to make at least 1000 to 2000 samples for that purpose we need to use the Raspberry Pi. Generally we can analyze that and we can provide you the 90 to 95 percent accuracy of glucose levels. So let us see demonstration. So let us see we have interfaced this module at A4, A5 pins and LCD interfaced at pin number 2 to pin number 7 and HC05 Bluetooth module interfaced at the transmitter pin of our UNO board and 13th pin is directly connected to the buzzer. So before on the kit to monitor the glucose levels we need to install one application. So that is the application of Bluetooth uh, monitoring this is the application. So HC05 type hc05 in play store you will get this icon so install that icon application and after that on the power supply to the kit right so this light will show the status of the kit is trying to spare and uh, to pair that search for the bluetooth module so which will show the hc05 bluetooth module name and it will ask for the password so the password is 1234 so after pairing from the settings only then go to the our application so there we can see the hc05 so after pair to this so the device is connected now no finger was placed so when you are placing the finger so we should insert at least one inch and don't press hard on the sensor as it won't receive the exact uh, blood glucose levels values means blood thickness values so place it gently so we can see the both values at a time. So if you move the finger, it will provide the abnormal values or uh, unaccurate values. So if you place the finger without any movement, then you will get the nearby accurate values. So 
so right 96 96 96 around that right 96 93 this is my glucose levels 92 93 like that mm -hmm. so if i'm moving the finger inside that then the values will be jumping to higher values right so like that keep calm and don't move the finger then you'll get the nearby values So, in this manner, we are going to resume the and uh, this is Rajatil Porter a prototype we made that. So, as we discussed initially, if you want to make it as high accuracy one, uh, low fluctuation values, then we need to use the heavy samples with the real time data sets by using the Raspberry Pi 4. Then we can get the 90 to 95 percent of accuracy to calculate the glucose levels.